good day guys today i'm going to be showing you how to create a menu a menu from scratch using microsoft word of course you can use publisher because publisher usually have templates that you can use to create different publications like menu newsletter and the list goes on but I want to use my own creativity. I want to use my own pictures. I want to use my own thing. So I'm going to be doing it from scratch in Microsoft Word. But before I get into it, I'm going to remind those persons who have not subscribed as yet to subscribe, like the videos, share the videos with family and friends, those going into grade 11, as well as those who want to learn basic IT, just share it with these people. Remi I'm going to also remind you to comment, 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 guys, and please remember to watch the ads. All right, so the first thing we need to do regarding a menu is to put in a picture. You want to be, you know, creative, and that's one way. So I'm going to click on insert, then pictures, and I'm going to be taking one from online, so I'm going to click on online pictures. In the search box, I'm going to be searching for a menu picture. All right, so I'm going to be searching for a menu picture. This is the one I want to use. I'm going to click on insert and insert. We're going to be deleting that bottom text box and leave the picture alone. We are also going to be wrapping the picture so that we can do whatever it is we want to do with it, with it. So you will click on wrap text and then square. And I'm going to drag it right across the page so that it has this background look. So it's like I'm creating a background with the picture that I just inserted. So what I did was to basically expand the picture to fit the entire page to cover it to have a nice background for my menu the top part of it is not being extended so there is a white page up there so what i'm going to do is to go to design and put in a page color just to get rid of the white space at the top so I'm going to choose blue, click on blue, and then what I'm going to do, guys, is to insert a text box so that I can type my menu list. To do that, I'm going to click on insert, then text box. Uh, which one should I choose? Since I have blue for the page color, I'm going to choose this blue text box and put it in the center of the background you can also widen the page the text box so that you have enough space to type your menu and I'm going to type the heading which is menu at the top of the text box I'm going to choose a nice font let me see which font is good enough one, two, three, go. And it has a little menu look too, you know. I'm going to choose that one. Increase the size to about 36. Good, this is nice. All right, so in the other text box below it, I'm going to just type my menu. I'm going to center it first. Usually your menu list is centered. So I'm going to center it. And the first thing on your menu would be your appetizer. So I'm going to type appetizers. Center it. For our appetizer, I'm going to be putting vegetable soup and pumpkin creamed soup. And we have to think about the vegetarians when we prepare menu these days vegetable soup all right and creamed pumpkin creamed soup then 
after your appetizer, you would normally have your main course. For the main course, I'm going to have fried chicken. Barbecue chicken. Jerk chicken. Or we could have pork. Jerk pork. And tofu stir fry. Nice. Good. After your main course, you would have side orders. So we're going to put side orders. And we could put rice and peas. We could put vegan pesto pasta. We could have raw and steamed vegetable. They can choose which one they prefer. After your side orders, you would normally have your desserts. So for the desserts, I'm going to put black forest cake. I'm hmm, ice cream, but what? Um, vanilla. Vanilla ice cream and banana split smoothie. Apart from your desserts, you need your beverages. I'm going to put beverages below that and put fruit punch, orange, shoes. Ice, tea, and water. So this is usually what a menu look like, guys. So what I'm just going to do now is to just make it look more attractive. So I'm going to choose some pretty decent, attractive fonts. For the main headings, I'm going to increase the size and change it to a nice font. I like adorable. I'm going to use adorable and change it to size um, 16 is good enough. 16 and bold it as well. What is below it? I'm going to let it the size remain at 11. But choose the same font. But just the heading that I'm going to increase the size of to make it bold and bigger. Alright, so everything will be adorable, just that the headings will be bigger and bolder. So I'm going to block everything there and change it to adorable, but the headings will be, the size of the headings will be bigger and it will be bold. I'm going to bold this heading. And what you could do, instead of doing it over and over, you could just use a format painter and paint it so what it does is copy the format and apply it to whatever you paint it with so you go back to paint format painter and paint format painter and paint that's it yes that's it so guys you can increase the size much bigger if you want it to be much bigger but this is how i want it so i'm going to leave it like that so guys this is how you create a menu in microsoft word from scratch and where you can apply your own creativity and be as creative as possible all right guys i'm going to remind you again to subscribe if you have not subscribed like and share the videos and please remember to comment Anything you have to say, please put it in the comment section. And I'm going to ask you to watch the videos as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to see you again next week, Tuesday. Bye guys.